Hello, Gemini. We're getting ready to do your general reading for September, in which the overall energy for the reading is the Nine of Pentacles. That's pre-Empress energy. You came into the reading in the past. You've built a lot of stability for yourself. You have a lot of abundance, but when we get the Nine, we're ready to go to the Ten to start a new cycle, and that's what I see happening for you now or in the near future. But this is primarily a September reading. This is incredible. You have the Justice card. The Justice card is Libra Energy, seventh house. It is your sister sign of Libra. You also have the Star card and the Ace of Coins. This looks like a contract for some sort of service that you provide that you have. You exhibit a star quality in the gift that you provide. This is star quality, hopes and dreams coming true, something that you've wanted to manifest. It could be a pay increase, it could be bonus money, but it can also be going out on your own, shining like a star to make more money with a very good contract. For some of you, it could be the entertainment industry. You could literally be a rock star. For others of you, it will be of a more quiet or private nature. You have not been overly optimistic, though. In the recent past, we have you in the hanged man energy, searching for answers, looking from a different perspective, because you had a great fear that you were going to be left out in the cold, that whatever you were bringing to the table was not being recognized in the marketplace of the world as a value but it was a spiritual lack mentality that you had because we have you hanging your head, you're not looking up, there's a big key right next to the door. So to unlock your fortunes, you went inside and you examined the hieroglyphics, you listened to your spiritual self, you listened to your intuition, and you have now stepped into the limelight. The star card literally is hopes and dreams for for love coming true, but anything that you love or anything that you desire. This is a card that gives you credit for being beautiful spiritually, for being a morally good person, for whatever it is that you are being recognized for, you're beautiful inside, you're shining brightly to the outside world, and your message is being heard. The Ace of Cups in the near future speaks to the fact that you are going to have a new beginning in love. The Temperance card says that most likely someone that you have wanted to be with, somebody that you've invested time with and effort, we go from the one and the seven of eight, okay, so we go one plus seven is eight, to the nine, okay? So you're making this interesting progression through the tarot deck that you are in a place of peacefulness that perhaps somebody that you have had time apart from is now likely to be returning. This is a situation in which you did feel left out in the cold. It could be somebody who ghosted you, but it really is your person, if you have one with whom you had a break, you are now reconciling with a new beginning in love. If this is a new love, you have really gone within and brought yourself into this beautiful, calm, peaceful energy of temperance, of really knowing how to come into relationship with a very balanced way of giving that's very generous. The Seven of Pentacles is you assessing your investment. It's you taking note of what it is that you want to achieve. You definitely have your eye on the prize. And when we look at the card of the Five of Coins, we simply know that's in the fear. When we look at the 10 card Celtic, this is your hopes and fears. Well, we know that you don't hope to be left in the cold, so that becomes a default to knowing that you were fearful that you would be left in the cold. Your outcome for the month of September is absolutely, drum roll please, the Empress. This is the manifestation 
of all of your energies about everything that you want for yourself, everything that you value, everything that you need for stability, happiness, and joy. The Empress is pregnant in this particular card, but this is a representation of you manifesting. Yes, she's pregnant. You can't see the baby yet, but the baby's here. The baby's very visible. You can see it. You can feel it. So again, I think for many of you, I'm going to pick up Rose. She wants to say hi. So we're going to pull two cards from the Priestess of Light Oracle to help guide you on your path in your manifestation. Let's see what, what Spirit wants to say to us. This is such a stunning reading. I haven't seen a Gemini reading this good in a long time, and I remember because I'm a Gemini. Building your world. Oh, creation, expansion, and networking. Well, that's exactly what we see in front of us. That's exactly building your world. You've done the work. You're about to get rewarded. Oh, beautiful. Let's pull one more. Whoops, I'm going to shuffle this better. One more card from the High Priestess Oracle for Gemini. This is an incredible reading. I'm so excited for myself as well as all of you. This is beautiful energy. Setting boundaries, threshold protection, and honor. Oh, wow. This one came out. It stuck to the first one. And it speaks about divine masculine electric power and that's what i'm seeing with this temperance card a divine masculine energy is returning divine ascending ascension and when we see setting boundaries we can really see that you did set boundaries here because you left yourself out in the cold because you needed more balance in a relationship and you have had your defining moment, your boundaries, your willingness to set a healthy boundaries has helped this person find a higher level of divinity, divine masculine energy. All right, let's look at you on your journey of love before we close the reading out. I just want to say the new website has been launched. We have a coupon or coupon code in the description box below for our newly opening telephone readings with me personally, a telephone reading. All right, so gifts received, manifestation. We can't make this up. Jim and I, sending you love from Chicago. Hope to see you soon in another reading and thank you so much for all your love, support and kindness.